Good morning, my... I wanted to say vegan savages, but that's Ferdinand's gang. I don't really have a name for you guys. What should I call you? My Scorpios, but that's not really true. My Scorpio minds. I don't know. Kiwi, how should I call them? Should I just call them my Kiwis? No, my Kiwis? Do you want to be my Kiwis? <laughs> If you have a suggestion what I should call you, uh, leave a comment down below. Because I feel like every bigger YouTuber, me not included, <laughs> but you never know what the future's gonna bring, has a gang name, like a name for their subscribers, followers. And I would like to come up with one. Maybe it just takes a little bit of time and see if there's something I say or anybody else says that fits into it. It kind of looks like a mess in here because I got some packages the last days and also something really exciting which is standing here and I'm gonna take care of this today. First I gotta eat something and just look outside. The sun is finally shining again. Yesterday it was raining so much and apparently also windy because the cart usually stands there in the corner and now it's here somewhat. Or I have ghosts. The ghost moved the cart. <laughs> And as you probably already know, I'm not the biggest fan of rain and yesterday it rained the whole time and here are a couple of reasons why I really don't like rain. Well first, because it's wet and you can't really go outside. Second, because it's grey and you feel kind of depressed. Third, there's just sand everywhere. Like my shoes, Kiwi brings sand home and all of the floor, all of the bed is just coated in sand and I can't vacuum clean like three four times a day so it's just like really annoying and everything is so dirty I'm riding my bike so everything's just splattering up my jacket and my trousers and it's just so dirty and I know I should complain some would say oh you're gonna make your own luck and you're just as happy as you are making yourself feel and it's true but there are still factors that make you more or less happy and rain is definitely one that doesn't make me that happy. That being said, it's still okay. It's still important and sometimes rain can be really nice. You're probably curious what's inside of here, so we're gonna take care of it now. And I'm also really excited. What does it look like to you? It's a dining table, cause... I only have my bed to sit on right now and working in a bed, as you probably may know, is not the best idea because you're kind of distracted and you just want to lay down and chill for a little bit and instead of working maybe watch a little bit of YouTube. I mean it's okay, I can manage by having a table and also just for once in a while eating on there and taking pictures because I'm a food photographer and I need to take pictures like all the time. So like that I have a much bigger space to arrange all my props and I hope it's high enough to get under here so that it has nice lighting and I hope it's not too difficult because it's not Ikea, I just got it from Amazon but it doesn't look too hard, it just some screws Kiwi, I could use your help, do you want to help me? No? Well that looks too comfortable <laughs> This is actually so simple, you just have to take a screw then a piece of a small thing <laughs> and a big thing and then you just put it through the hole take a leg of a table and then screw it in, I think it's even easier than Ikea and I was always wondering why they have like a short and a long side and you have to have like the short side in so that you can apply more pressure and um, the screw can be screwed in much tighter but if you use it like that for like little spaces where you don't have enough space here this is super fine otherwise it would take ages
all done and ready now I just need a chair but for now I think my uh, feet up yoga chair will do my biggest concern was that when I'm pole dancing I'm gonna hit a table but I think I should be fine and worst case scenario I'm just gonna move it somewhere when I'm training that's it happy I have my table now and it does look neat and never forget to open your door of your advent calendar I just saw it number eight, now it's gone. Now here it is. I can actually sit here on my table and eat. I think it would also be nice if I put it like right there next to the heater so that when I'm working, I can look outside. I think that's an option for sure. Smoothie bowl, bring me energy to survive my aerosol class. And having breakfast on my new table. Ooh, so excited. And it's raining again. Woo! So happy about that. Not. <laughs> but the thing I'm happy about is that I had an amazing aerial soul class. My hands hurt so much. My upper arms hurt crazy much. But yeah, just roll the clip. All the dreams played all the games in getting high on love. They can chase us down, but we will always win. Leading every dance, feeling every touch, and getting high in love. We're invincible. Trust in me. We're invincible. Don't you see? We're invincible. Kiwi control, <laughs> take a little bit of self control. Hey, happy to be back. Happy to be back with you, Kiwi. Your little tail is so sweet, <gasps> so sweet. <laughs> I'm on my way to Nikita. She lives like on the other side of Berlin. That's why I took a train because I also have Kiwi with me. And I got her a gift, some plates. I don't really need any more. I, I just got too many. And she also has a super sweet dog, so Kiwi can play a little bit with him. We're in 